Right here with Will here. It is March 17th, 2017. 31717. This is gratitude with Will Day 18. Yes, <laughs> I'm off by one. And today's gratitude is about ancestors. So our ancestors have influenced our behavior. You know, we, we've learned from our parents, and they've learned from their parents, and their parents, and their parents, and it goes way, way, way back. And there's also our DNA, and all these things influence us in many, many, many ways, in many ways that we don't know. So here is my gratitude for who I am, for who you are, because of our ancestral programming <laughs> In both senses of the word, tataya shawahia kawana na ua tatasia kawa achishia kana oa shishia na 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 hikia chawaya kona wa atatakana each chuhu ka atatkia a oa shinia wa kahaisia kaye chichua kawa anania wa tasania to kohunania taka awa tatahashi shishiwia kawa tanania tata. Thank you, thank you for the reminder. Uh, my language. <laughs> is given to me ancestrally as well as uh, past life. And um, it's it's in my auric field and in my DNA in several different ways. So that's why it comes out. And it's a form of proto-Indo-European is the technical term. I call it Akkadian. It was uh, Upper Mesopotamia and but not from the kingdom of Akkad, but not in the time in history when you look up on Google about the kingdom of Akkad a couple thousand years earlier, right when the hunter-gatherers started to settle. That's when this language was um, used a lot, and a lot of the hunter-gatherers were using a form of this language. It could also be called Sumerian. Um, there's a, a village or a city on the Volga River called Samara, so maybe it's Samarian. Um, and let me see if I can pull out what they called the language. Well, it translates to just tongue. So they call it their tongue. So, um, so what's coming to me is Leila or Leita. Ricky with Will here. <laughs> Namaste, my friends. Stay blessed and uh, unlimit yourselves. Peace out.